It's the first time that we have uh, got this international breakthrough with the single In the Shadows. It's like a dream come true at the moment. I'd rather kill myself than turn into their Sometimes. And I remember when we did the song, uh, we had a sound check in Finland. We were just jamming something and Pauli had this guitar riff and I started to hum some melodies and it was a very spontaneous way of making a song. And wait for a wonder, I've been watching. Basically just write the songs with the acoustic guitar and if, if you get the idea of a song and it works just very stripped down then it usually is a good song so it works anyway. It took maybe 20, 30 minutes to complete the song and uh, it's, it's a great song because everybody was involved making this song, everybody brought in their own ideas and, and it started off as a jam so I'm very happy that it, we picked it up as a first single because it's representing our band in the best way. The lyrics are about this young guy's life and uh, he's looking for something which is missing in his life. Basically about us being in this situation right here. And uh, I'm singing like we're living for tomorrows. And that's basically my life philosophy. But I think these feelings in the lyrics are very common feelings for all the young people and, and uh, people can easily relate to these feelings. This album is a very personal album for us, and uh, especially for me, because I'm writing about things that I've never said before. I wanted to write about things that really hurt inside of me, and, uh, and every time when I'm singing these songs now on stage, I can feel a little bit better. It's kind of a therapeutic thing for me. I got the idea of the title Dead Letters when I was, we had the, the whole album was finished and I was watching the lyrics reading them and uh, I felt like these are like letters to someone and it was very personal information and there was this kind of red line going through all the, all the songs and uh, I was thinking of a name and then I found this word from this book and I, I thought it's the perfect title because I never know if it, the message really is going through to these people. First of my life is one of the most positive songs on the album. It has these two sides, the chorus and the riff, they're very, very um, hard and heavy and the verse is very beautiful and mellow. The song is about um, these feelings like being on the tour, being away from your friends and your the people that you love. Also about the feelings like when, you, when you're traveling and when you see places and you meet people like for the first time in your life and it really feels good. I dumped you again Don't understand It's happened before Can't take it no more This foolish game When we do this interviews and some promotion we like to talk about Finland because we love our country. And many bands are getting influences from the nature and the Finnish culture. Kind of, this kind of sad, lonely feelings. The last song of the album is called Funeral Song. And uh, actually, that, I think that was the last song that we did for the album. And uh, we thought that maybe it's better to do this kind of very stripped down way because it's a, 
It's a very quiet, slow song, and it's very personal lyrics for me. And uh, so what we did, we basically just used strings and uh, like vocals. So it's kind of uh, very different from the other songs on the album. But I think it's also showing the other side of the Rasmus because we have this softer and more emotional side as well and, uh, and it also has this kind of a classical feeling to it because uh, we have this classical background. Era was playing violin when he was five years old and I was also playing piano and classical guitar. So we wanted to show something different. Even though most of the songs are quite melancholic, sad and depressed, I think uh, what we deliver is uh, it's more like a positive sadness. In my life, I say, and it turns me on. In my life is uh, maybe the fastest song from the album, and it, it's kind of um, it has this skate punk vibes and stuff. I think this is also a quite positive song. It's about making decisions in your life. And I'm just trying to tell people that I, I took my chances. I quit my school. I sacrificed a lot of things for this band. Can I suggest that you invest in something more than hopelessness? Yeah, expanding the thing, we're going to, to America for the first time and to Asia. It's nice to, to see new cultures and meet new people. Every day you wake up in a different city and it's quite a hectic but very happy life that we're living at the moment. Welcome to Dubai where we play at the Desert Rock Festival. Driving and puking. Yeah, it's my first time on the desert. You know that? It's yeah, a no. strange feeling. Good and relaxing. <laughs> I think the view is perfect, you know, you could get some crazy ideas here. And maybe after that we have smoked some of that strange stuff, we get some more ideas. able to travel around the world and play these great concerts everywhere but at the same time we are missing some things like home and our families our old friends it sometimes feels like um, you're losing the grip to your old life which actually is very important and the roots back in Finland are very important to us and I really feel guilty if I'm starting to lose grip to those so we're here in Dubai, ready to rock the cash bar. I never thought that the time and the distance between us make you so much colder. I'll carry the world on my shoulders. And I, I think that there is lots of kind of positive energy every time when we perform. Like on the stage you can feel that we are having fun and also we want the audience to have fun and come with us. So. The image that you get if you see one music video of the Rasmus is, is quite much darker than we, because we really are happy guys and, and life is good. Thank you! Good night! I've been watching!